Okay, so at this uh, moment, we will be discussing about the tabular representation of data. So this is uh, under the topic of the presentation of data. So we will first uh, try to define or try to talk all about this tabular distribution of data. So the most common uh, way to uh, to, pres uh, to present da data in a tabular manner is by the frequency distribution table. But first, we'll try to define uh, where is my friend? friend here. Okay, we'll try to define what is frequency. Okay. So, the common way of def defining frequency is it is the number of uh, the number of repetitions or appearance appearance a certain data a number of repetition or appearance a certain data uh, a certain data in a given set okay so that is what we mean by frequency for example we have uh, let's just use this one for example we have uh, a set of data so for example we have 32 45 75, 85, 95, 32, 75, 45, 45. Okay, so if we were going to, to find the, the frequency of each data, so for example, we have 32, so it's just write first the data, we have 45, then 75, then we have 85 okay the next is 95 then we have so we have also 32 so we have two 32s then we have 75 then we have 45 45 so if you are going to write the frequency so for 32 the frequency for 32 is 2 for 45 3 for 75, 2, and we have 1 and 1 for 85 and 95, respectively. So that is what you mean by frequency. Now, if we are going to define what is a frequency distribution, so frequency distribution, so let's just write this one here. Frequency distribution. Okay, so it is defined as the arrangement of gathered data gathered data by categories categories plus their corresponding corresponding frequencies frequencies so we have frequencies and plus marks or mid points okay so for example we have here the definition so just uh, explain first this definition define so frequency distribution is defined as the arrangement of gathered data 
by categories plus their corresponding frequencies and class marks or midpoint. So for example, we have here the our same example. So if we are going to to draw or to make a table of that using frequency distribution, so if we are going to go back up. Okay, so we have our data first data we have our first for example this will be our score and this will be our frequency okay so we have here 32 so that will be our first score 32 then we have 45 then we have 75 then 85 then the last one is 95 okay so the frequency of 32, so it appears two times, so it will be 2, for, uh, for, for 45, 3, for 75, 2, for 85 and 95, 1 respectively. So this is now a simple frequency distribution. So that is how you make a simple frequency distribution. So in some cases, we are going to have their class marks. So this class mark. So the class mark, usually if you are dealing with uh, group data or nominal or ordinal data. So in this example, this is score, so this is the row score. But if you are going to have this one in a group data, so uh, they will be in terms of limits now for for um, nominal or ordinal data, they will be in terms of categories. Or for example, if it is in terms of gender, so male or female, then the frequency is the number of how many male or how many female does the, does the um, sample has or the set or the population has. So this is how we are going to do the frequency distribution. Okay, so next video we will be talking about frequency distribution for no for nominal and ordinal data. Thank you for watching. As always, keep on studying.